Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we are going to discuss the following question. The question says that calculate the compound interest due in two and a half years on six thousand dollars at ten percent compound interest. Let us see some of the formulas that we are going to use in this question. Simple interest is equal to P into R into T upon hundred, where P is equal to the principal. R is equal to the rate of interest and T is equal to the time in years. Amount is equal to principal plus interest and compound interest is equal to the amount minus the original principal with this key idea we shall proceed with the solution. Now, according to the question, we shall calculate the compound interest due in two and a half years on six thousand dollars at ten percent compound interest. So, to calculate the compound interest for two and a half years, we shall first find the simple interest for first year, second year, and at last for the last half year where each time the principal will be the amount at the end of the previous year. For the first year principal P is equal to six thousand dollars Rate of interest R is equal to 10% and the time T is equal to 1 year. Now as we know simple interest is equal to P into R into T upon 100. Therefore interest for first year is equal to 6000 into 10 into 1 upon $100 which is equal to 60 into $10 that is $600 now as amount is equal to principal plus interest therefore amount at the end of first year is equal to 6000 plus 600 dollars which is equal to $6,600. Now we shall find the interest for the second year. The principal P for the second year is equal to $6,600 which is the amount at the end of previous year the rate of interest is equal to 10% and the time T is equal to 1 year. As interest is equal to P into R into T upon 100, therefore 
interest for the second year is equal to 6600 into 10 into 1 upon $100 which is equal to 66 into $10 that is $660 now the amount at the end of second year is equal to principal plus interest that is equal to 6600 plus 660 dollars that is equal to $7,260. Now we have found the interest for the first year and for the second year. So we shall find the interest for the last half year. Here the principal P is equal to $7,260 which is the amount at the end of previous year. The rate of interest R is equal to 10% and time T is equal to half year. So interest for the last half year is equal to seven thousand two hundred and sixty into ten into one upon hundred into two dollars which is equal to seven hundred and twenty six upon two dollars that is equal to $363. So, the amount at the end of the last half year is equal to principal plus interest that is equal to 7260 plus 363 dollars this is equal to 7623 dollars so now amount in two and a half years is equal to seven thousand six hundred and twenty three dollars and the original principal is equal to six thousand dollars therefore compound interest for two and a half years is equal to amount in two and a half years minus the original principal that is equal to 7623 minus 6000 dollars which is equal to 1623 dollars so finally we have compound interest for two and a half years is equal to $1623 which is our answer.
completes our session. Hope you enjoyed the session.